guys, it's Applemint. Welcome back again to my channel and happy holiday season. I'm very much in the holiday Christmas mood today. And I've seen a few people in the comments these past few weeks recommend that I do this video. Uh, but before we get into it, I just wanna take a second to thank today's video sponsor. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Another Eden. The Chrono Cross crossover story, Complex Dream is now available. Chrono Cross was developed by Square Enix and is the sequel to Chrono Trigger. The game contains content that players can play for hours, all for free. Enjoy exclusive stories and features inspired by the crossover and get new characters that can be obtained for free by playing. Relive the Chrono Cross experience with appearances by Lynx, Starkey, and Glenn, along with exclusive music, unique Chrono mechanics including New Game Plus, multiple endings, and more. You can also get the full JRPG experience by playing other crossover stories in another Eden, such as those of Persona 5 Royale and the Tales of series. The game is available in 72 countries on iOS, Android, and Steam, and you can download the game in the link in my description below. So thank you again to another Eden for being today's video sponsor. So as you read by the title, today I am doing desserts as people, but with a holiday twist on it um, and I you know I love turning things into people right by now if you've seen anything on my channel uh, but I wanted to do something a little bit more holiday themed so I'm doing some desserts that you would typically eat at this time of year and the first one that I'm doing is one of my favorite things which is gingerbread and so I went back and forth on this a little bit because I felt like something was off. And I think it was mostly the socks because I felt like, as you can see here, um, the socks match the sweater on top. And I just felt like it was a little too much of the same pattern going on. Pattern going on. So I changed it to be short socks, which I guess ultimately didn't matter because I usually always make a full body reference when I do these. And I don't always draw the full body of the character in the drawing itself. So in this case, I am doing a waist up shot of this character. And that typically tends to be what I do, at least when I'm doing um, digital ones, because sometimes, you know, it just makes sense with the pose or I wanna make the drawing a little larger on screen. And so it just kind of cuts off some of their body. And I find that I just, it's just the easiest way for me to get a little more detail in there and a little more up close to the character. Um, and it's worth cutting off some of their body. Uh, but that's why I like to also just make the design as a whole. So I have a character reference if I ever do wanna draw them again, or if people wanna make fan art, because I know a lot of you guys have made fan art of some characters that I've done in the past, like when I turned weather into people. I've seen fan art of my rain girl there, which, you know, I didn't expect, but I, some people like to do it. So yeah, feel free to use the full body references if you ever want to do that. But anyway, for her pose, I decided to make her holding a tray of freshly baked gingerbread cookies. I don't know if that's weird because she represents gingerbread cookies. <laughs> and she's baking them, but I don't think it's weird because you know, it's just, it's a cookie. I don't, I don't know, you, do with that what you will. <laughs> um, but I wanted her design to be very warm and very inviting because when I think of gingerbread cookies, obviously they've got that golden orangey brown look to them. And I personally really love the warmth of the holidays and so i wanted to keep her color palette to colors you might find on a gingerbread cookie but just overall just very warm and inviting so i used the brown on her sweater and kind of made it look gingerbread cookie-esque with some icing as you can see on my reference um, and for her skirt i wanted it to be kind of like a tartan plaid pattern just to break up the solidness of her shirt of her sweater because it's just so one color and i just didn't want her to have too much solidness i like to vary up patterns and things like that um in people's outfits and characters outfits because i just don't like when they look too samey i think it looks better when you add a little bit of variety uh, and then to represent gumdrops, I put some buttons on her sweater there <laughs> to look like gumdrops. And I also added those as her earrings as well. Um, and in her hair, as you can see, I, I imagine they'd be kind of like tied together with little hair bands that have pieces of holly <laughs> on them. So I just thought that was a cute touch. I know you don't typically decorate Chris, uh, cookies with holly, but it's just a, it's a Christmassy vibe she's got going on, right? 
Um, and then I gave her just some big glasses because I just think that's a really cute look on characters. I really like the look of giant glasses. Maybe one day mine will look like that. I don't know. But anyway, that is gingerbread. Uh, shortened I just call her ginger and for the background I'm I literally just copy and pasted a photo because I just wanted something back there um, that just didn't want it to be blank and I blurred it but anyway that is ginger let me know what you think of her character design and now on to the next one so this next one can be one of two things either peppermint or candy cane um, I'm I've been calling her peppermint so but it's really the same thing <laughs> Candy canes are more for this kind this time of year. So that's why she can be either one But she's inspired by mint as a whole and um, I wanted her design to be much more I guess innocent looking cutesy looking and I also made her a deer because I thought that would be cute since the last character was an elf so yeah, she's a deer. <laughs> and I think it also just goes with this kind of this time of year as well, just for reindeer and things like that. Um, so her design, she has one full dress. It looks like two pieces, but it's one. That's how I imagine it. And um, like I mentioned in the last drawing, I like to break up the patterns and things like that. So I knew I wanted her to have candy cane and mint stripes on her skirt. So that's why I made the top part of her dress a more solid red color. Uh, I was gonna make her hair brown and then add red and white stripes, but I just figured to go all in on the red and white for this because, I don't know, it wouldn't look right. I, I wanted all of her hair to be red and then I just did stripes throughout the entire thing instead of just certain parts like I was originally planning. Um, and then I just left the brown for just some of the details on her, like her deer details and things like that. But um, my idea was to have her standing out in the snow and I guess catching it and being very intrigued by it. <laughs> she has a very innocent look in the way I am drawing her. Um, but I, I did draw her with mittens, which is not part of her original design. It is just for the sake of her being outside in the cold. But you can debate with me because I know someone's going to say, well, she's out in the cold in a little dress and skirt and... <laughs> Why is mittens the thing keeping her warm? Okay, I listen, this drawing doesn't need logic, all right? It's for fun. <laughs> but for her hair, I really liked, uh, I guess, getting creative with where I could put the stripes. So I put them down her bangs in the middle and I gave her a ribbon on the piece of hair that hangs in front of her to also look like stripes. And then for her little hair buns, I, I imagine her long hair in certain sections is pulled up into buns. And uh, so for those parts, I made them look very stripey, kind of like those little mints that you get <laughs> in the little plastic packages, if you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I really like the way her hair came out specifically. I kind of worked the entire design around her hair because you know, I, I knew that I wanted her hair to have the stripes, um, but I also didn't want her entire design to be stripe overkill, which is why the only other place that has stripes is the skirt. But yeah, this one was a lot of fun to do. I really liked the, I guess the pose and the expression on her face of her just looking really innocent. Um, and yeah, she was, she was just fun color overall. I'm sorry if you hear like scraping and things in the background. That's Pepper. He's playing with some toys right next to me. And of course he picked the loudest one. So I don't know if it's coming across on the mic, but that's what that is if you hear it. But anyway, yeah, I've, I've been seeing some people recommend that I do desserts. Uh, as people recently and more recently a few people suggested like Christmas slash holiday desserts so I thought that would be a lot of fun for today and I was originally going to do them traditionally but again I wanted to add more detail in these and you know I don't know I, I just decided digital for this since I've been doing traditional for the last few videos I like to mix it up on my channel but um these were very very fun to do and I'm happy with how they came out overall and uh, as for those backgrounds in the back, like I mentioned in the last one, I took an image and then blurred it. Just because I didn't want to do backgrounds for these, I want to focus on the characters and I don't really have the time or really the skill as much to do more detailed backgrounds. But I didn't want that to be completely blank or just a circle or something, especially when you're doing it digitally, you have the opportunity to add some extra things in the background. So that's why I'm just adding some lightly blurred images in the back for that. Um, but for her, I specifically added some extra snow around her and front and behind her. Um, and then I added a bluish kind of filter over the entire thing to kind of tie all the colors together. 
But yeah, that is Peppermint. Let me know what you think of her design and which girl you liked better in the comments below. And as always, I have all of my links in the description box below, my online store, Patreon pin club, my Instagram page, and my Discord server are all there, as well as the link to today's video sponsor who helps me to pay my bills and keep being an artist full time. So definitely go check them out. Thank you. And yeah, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and tell me what you want to see me do next. So I will see you guys all next Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern time as always. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.